Well, hey everybody, this is Steve at Thousand Year Home. So I'm in my truck because today, behind me if you see, I've got a gravel truck coming in. So for those of you who said, ah, oh, Steve, you'll never build up that culvert without gravel, you win the prize. But uh, I got it pretty high up, I do. I have uh, 18, maybe even two foot of dirt on it already. And then I'm hoping that he overtops it and I'm done with that. And then if he has money left over, he's gonna go do the road for me. And uh, we'll talk about that. I wanted to get my drone up in the air as he dumped, but uh, I know better than a slow man down who makes his living dumping gravel. So if I could get the drone up today in between, I'll go ahead and get the drone up. But uh, this is uh, super exciting for me. I will love not being in the mud. So it'll be better for my equipment too. Well, what I'm hoping to do is get gravel from about here here just to the other side of that culvert we'll see about all that underneath there's cement that I'm going to use to make my little cement bridge but that filled up pretty solid and I'm letting a cattle drink out of it for now so <laughs> don't know when I'll do that experiment how fun I don't know if he chained his uh, buckets or not here. Oh, and out. Nope, he'll have to get out and chain them, I think. Doesn't quite do it, but it'll be good enough. Okay. Better than the mud. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> feel like this place is becoming a home. I'll tell you what, uh, dealing with mud is just a never-ending trial. How great is that? All right, well, the next load, he's pretty far out. Uh, the next load, I hope to get the drone up in the air. Man, gosh, he dropped this. Look at that, I don't even have to work, except there where it started. Uh, man, he nailed this for me. Right. And if he does this when I have leftover money, he's going to do the uh, the road. <laughs> we'll see how much money I, I could spend today. I could spend an infinite amount of money on road surface, but I got a house to build. Super excited. Man, I'll be happy not to have my truck in the mud. I got to tell you. Uh, anyway, I'll be a minute while I set up the, uh, the box blade on this. I've got the mower right now. Let me get the box blade on it. Well, I'm pressed a little bit for time, so I'm just going to leave the mower deck on, raise it up, and just work with the uh, bucket today and level that with the bucket. The way he dropped it, man, uh, other than me leveling it a little bit and running it the heck over, I don't have any work to do. So this will work, uh, and I don't have to box blade it uh, right now. As usual, anytime I want to get some work done, it turns out it's, it's oats o'clock. <laughs> And these guys, he's going to herd me over to the oats. He's really, he's adorable in a, uh, in a powerful way. He's adorable in a powerful way. Old Hank uh, is just, uh, okay, get to your spot, guys. Get to your spot. 
All right, let's go ahead and spend a minute giving everybody their oats, and then I can get back on the tractor. I have got to tell you, uh, man, he saved me so much time today. I'm going to leave the mower deck on, in fact. Now that I don't have to do anything other than scrape that around with the front end box blade. Still mowing, so actually, uh, I mow. It takes about 10 days to mow. <laughs> yeah, it's about 10 days out here. 30 acres. Uh, you know, mowing includes like stock ponds and uh, fence lines, and it's a big deal. Uh, I'm mowing a little early this year to get rid of all of the uh, oh coreopsis that uh, I don't think the cattle like. Every year I try to mow one weed away. Last year was Silver Nightshade. I, it did a good job. It's not perfect, but it, it did a good job. Anyway, not having to swap that mower deck off uh, it will save me a lot of time. Let me go ahead and uh, I'll try to I'll try to do this with uh, with this thing. But I, I think I'll set up a different camera. Let me do that. I, I it's so much easier to work on your tractor with two hands than uh, hold a camera. And I've tried on a on a tractor. I've tried to do the uh, GoPro, and I don't care how much image stabilizer you have, <laughs> you cannot stabilize uh, a tractor at all. Let me go ahead and set up another camera here, and I'm just going to grade this flat, smoosh it down with my egg tires, run it all over, doo -doo 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 -doo, and uh, call that end finished. All right, well. Tom is out getting me another load of gravel. Four inches of gravel on the over top on that. And listen, look how smooth he dropped that. So going back here to where he started, there's the uh, a little pile that I got to... That's it. So uh, what I want to say here real quick is for those of you who do not pay for the guy to spread it for you, uh, give him the $25. <laughs> It's twenty five dollars a load, maybe fifty bucks in your neck of the woods. Uh, the, he turned an all day headache for me into uh, no work at all, and uh, he laid that out so smooth. Now I'm going to go ahead and just level this one part, drive over a little bit, pack it down. So, but let me move the camera. Uh, but pay that extra little bit of fee for the chains fees for him to drop that gravel. Do not work from a pile. Yeah, it's not worth it. Uh, let me show you a secret setting on your tractor that uh, will make you a box blade front end loader greater professional. And it's the auto level here. So let me go ahead and show you here. So if I raise this up and down, you can see I could even pick up the tires, right? See there? I picked up the tires. Looky there. All right, now that's really going to dig in, right? So how do you keep it smooth? Well, the uh, all tractors have a secret setting and uh, if you pull back on a stick there you go and I set it down and then I do it again see how it, it had a little detent there first it loaded up now it'll float that blade over the top of the surface and this is pretty smooth so I only need to float this end but that's what I'm doing. First I'm digging in and I'm scraping it back with the hard edge. And then I drop it down and I float it. And I'm using the uh, 
you know, the, the float function to float that in. That'll ride just on the surface and smooth it out for you. Let me go ahead and finish this up. So I'm good at roads and uh, driveways, but I'm not a perfectionist, uh, right? There's better guys that do this all day long. They, you can learn from them way more than me. But sometimes it's good to hear an itinerant builder, uh, how he does things. So nothing on a road, if you accept a stone or a bump or a dip, that's it. I mean, you, you bought that, right? So I'm looking here and I see a few places that are a little you know, they're a little uh, low. I'm gonna rake into them. That's right, I'm gonna get a hand rake <laughs> and rake, rake into anything like that because you will feel those for forever. And then, uh, as I mentioned, the float, uh, the float on your blade uh, is a huge win, but it's not the answer to all. If you notice, I'm changing the angle, like I could change the angle and then drive fast back and that real quick uh, brings a lot of energy to the environment and makes it real flat real smooth but initially when it's a lot of dirt that you need to move you got to put it in low and and angle your blade so you're kind of digging in one way or another either real pronounced dig in or I use the back of the blade and dig in so lots of little nuances but I've got a good crown there I've got a good amount of gravel I'm going to run that over. I'm going to get a hand rake now, and I'm going to rake it out a little bit. Uh, I'm hoping that I have uh, time before he gets back that I could put the drone in the air. We'll see. You have to get this raked out and compacted before it has a chance to dry out here in Texas. So as soon as it dries out, you won't have some. I see a little spot there, a couple of spots there. I'm going to call that good enough. Straighten out the corners a little bit where it over and then uh, get this run over and compact it. Uh, got a roller, but I haven't built it out of an old uh, uh, water tank, a little short water tank. I haven't built that yet. And then if I had a landscape rake, I would have gone over it with a rake. Now, I do have, uh, in fact, I'll go ahead and get it and chain it up. I do have a drag, and then I have some bed springs up there. Let me pull the drag over it a few times. All right, so this is Steve at Thousand Year Home. So uh, I didn't pick up my phone, so I didn't get my drone in the air. Uh, and the, the guy's on a schedule, of course. So he dumped, dumped that gravel, gave me a great price. $330 a load, this was two loads, $660. Your price may vary, right? During COVID, during delivery, long, listen, that's just what it was for me today. 
I probably got a friends and family price on that. So, but really enjoy this. Uh, I'm finally be up out of the mud. Let me go ahead and finish up this video with me flattening this. So like, subscribe, follow me along. That's pretty darn good for a couple of passes. I'll work on it again. I need to do that in way down yonder. So like, subscribe, follow me along. Steve, a thousand year home.